Many albatross chicks are just too weak to make it to adulthood. To find out why, we need to look at what the parents are unwittingly feeding them. My science class was uh, uh, given these boluses of uh, these Lizan albatrosses to, to dissect. And the bolus is uh, basically what the, the, the albatross regurgitates. What we found was very little of the stomach contents was, was actually what they normally eat, their regular diet. Most of what we found in each uh, albatross bolus was, was uh, marine debris, plastic lighters, uh, floaters, fishing lures, even little plastic toys. What my kids began to express to me was basically how the heck, how did these foreign objects get into the stomach of this, this albatross? Oh my God. Yeah. Lizanne albatross assume that anything floating on the ocean surface is edible. For millions of years, this has been a fair assumption. But today, in some parts of the Pacific, there is more plastic than food. The entire Pacific Ocean is circulating this debris. So there are many billions of particles circulating in this never-ending spiral that uh, you know, may never touch land and will just constantly be in the ocean until they're degraded to the point where they either um, sink to the bottom or they uh, become ingested by some creature. In nature, albatross chicks typically die from either starvation or dehydration, and that's kind of the way it's always been. Plastics help this process along by taking up room in their stomachs that would normally be reserved for food and water. So when you have an albatross chick that's got half a stomach full of plastic, that's half a stomach that can't be used. So as you kind of walk around this nesting colony, all that you really see left are just the dead ones. And um, you can see in the dead ones that have been left here for a while, they've started to decay. And inside those, you can see a lot of the plastics that have been left behind. 